Hello everybody, this is section 6.3 on translational equilibrium and we're doing question number 34. Pulling the string back on a bow with a force of 28.7 pounds, an archer prepares to shoot an arrow. If the archer pulls in the center of the string and the angle between the two halves is 138 degrees, what's the tension on the string? So I need to draw a bow, if I can draw a bow. So I've got a, I've got a bow, I guess it's going to be some kind of an arc. And then the string is being pulled in the center. So I'm going to have some kind of a fan shape like that. And we're going to see that the force that I'm pulling back is going to be equal to 27.7 pounds. All right, so if this angle here is 138 and a straight angle is 180, then 180 minus 138 is 42, and there's 42 degrees split between these two halves. So when I divide by two, I'm going to have 21 degrees here and 21 degrees here. Okay. Well, I now have a triangle. Okay. The tension in the tension here is the hypotenuse. That's the tension in that string. And that tension can be split into north south, which is here, and this is going to be T times the sine of 21 degrees. And then this one here is going to be t times the cosine. Now, t times the cosine will cancel because I've got the same amount going this way and the same amount going this way. But these tensions are going to double. So I actually want, I want this one plus this one to be countering this pull. I'm pulling back on the string here, and then the tension of the string is going the other way, and I have this one plus this one. So I'm actually going to have 2 times t times the sine of 21 degrees. And it says, hmm, what are we going to do? I need to know how many, I need to know what the force is here. And I've got it in pounds, and I need that in newtons. So I looked this up and found that there are 4.448 newtons per pound. So when I multiply that out, I get that the, the this this force, this force that of pull is equal to 123.2 newtons. Well, this and this is exactly the same. Whatever I'm pulling back here, this is pulling here because it's not moving. It's in equilibrium. So as long as I've got it pulled back, it's pulling forward with the same amount I'm pulling back, and there's no acceleration of that string either way. Okay, when I let it go, then there'll be acceleration forward. But until I let it go, these two sides are going to be pulling up, and I'm pulling back at the same amount. So that means that 2 times t times the sine of 21 degrees equals... 123.2 newtons. Okay, so I'm just going to solve for t. I'm going to read. I'm going to divide by two times the sine of one on the bottom. Get t by itself. Okay, so that'll end up being. Or no, I'm sorry. I'll. I'm going to take two. I think I said it. Two times sine of 21 and and divide it on the bottom. And I end up with T equals 171.9 Newtons. Problem that I see, or maybe it's not a problem, it just seems a problem, that they asked me that I pulled it back in pounds, and they asked me the tension in the string. It makes me think that they're wanting the tension in pounds. 
if they gave it to me in pounds they, and ask what the tension is, that it's probably in pounds. So I need to divide again by 4.448 newtons per pound, and that'll give me pounds. 38.7 pounds. Not so bad.